as the October 18, 2020, expiration date of the U.N. arms embargo against Iran loomed, there was substantial speculation that Tehran would seek to modernize its age military arsenal by importing Russian hardware. A Pentagon report released the year before reasonably speculated that Iran might seek Russian Su-30 fighter jets, S-400 air defense missile systems and T-90 main battle tanks. Tehran, however, proclaimed its desire to export military hardware following the embargo's expiration. As early as August 2019, a report in the Iranian press claimed that Russia had expressed interest in buying Iranian drones. Today, less than three years later, the White House's claim that Russia is interested in acquiring Iranian drones, and that Russian officials visited Iran twice in June to look at different models, including the Shahed 191 and Shahed 129, is, therefore, not all that surprising. The Guardian in April even claimed Iran was already supplying Russia with munitions and military equipment, such as RPGs, anti-tank missiles, and rocket launchers, from its militia proxies in Iraq and even donated one of its locally built Favr 373 air defense systems, Tehran's answer to the Rusi. Such a sale could provide Russia a substantive number of armed drones at a time when Moscow has depleted vast quantities of its munitions. The White House's claim that Iran is preparing to provide Russia with up to several hundred drones suggests, as has already been speculated by experts, that these could include a large number of loitering munitions, also known as kamikaze or suicide drones. Russia may well urgently need hundreds of loitering munitions to bolster its firepower. Incidents such as its infamous firing of KH-22 anti-ship missiles against the Ukrainian shopping mall in late June and using S-300 air defense missiles against land targets strongly indicate that there is substantial shortages in Russia's stockpiles of ballistic and cruise missiles. Large quantities of cheap loitering munitions could serve as a substitute, albeit a far from perfect one. And Tehran would likely happily accept Russian rubles as payment. <laughs>